क्या था सोनी कितनी ओके हेलो एज वेलकम बैक टू चार माय नेम इज अभास दास एंड टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी न्यू एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इट्स नोन एज एम एल ऑप्स यू मस्ट बी हियरिंग द टर्म एज डेव ऑप्स बट टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एम एल ऑप्स सो वट इज एम एल ऑप्स ऑन हाई लेवल विल बी डिस्कसिंग इट एंड वाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम डेव ऑप्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एन so prior to understanding ml ops let's understand what is devops so what is this this is continuous development and continuous delivery of the projects or software whatever thing you do okay so we say it as ci cd model so what comes as a part of ci cd model so there is like you know development first of all there is development there is prior development also there must be i'm not going deep diving into it there must be you know information gathering and different kind of thing like project planning and all so let's talk about what are the important steps here so one is development then you know then testing then staging then you know then deployment uh, you know deploying in the production prod okay so these all things are done through a agile methodology okay it might be agile it might be waterfall most nowadays most of them are not using waterfall they are using agile methodology so it's a continuous integration and continuous deployment or development model okay so like the requirement will come a develop seamless transition of the development as well as it is tested in the testing environment then it is also deployed in the production environment okay so this is a continuous integration continuous delivery happens okay there is no stop in between so that is devops okay so it's a very nice orchestration framework or we can say it's a very nice culture that has been uh, adopted in most of the companies right now for what for developing for developing softwares or or applications okay this part is clear now let's jump into ml ops ml means machine learning and ops means operation here also development and operation uh, so this is a integration of development as well as operations so that it brings us a seamless orchestration of the production of the software or any kind of uh, applications we can say so what happens in ml ops if also you do not know what is ml ops or what is ml do not worry i have a separate video on this like what are the types of machine learning you can just click on the i button to see this okay so come back to here what are stages do we have we have development testing staging uh, staging environment then production environment so these are different steps while developing as well as deploying a software okay so while deploying or making a ml model okay like a machine learning model or an algorithm while making it what are things we have to consider in the pipeline i'll just write it down for you so on a high level these are the steps or stages we can say in uh, model building or ml model building we have like gathering of the information first like gathering the data then analyzing then validating the data validation then building that model then training that model to way to work on a specific way then rolling out monitoring the model again and again so these are some of the high level stages i'm not deep diving into it so these are all the stages that we consider in a ml model building but there is one slight change here that makes the whole together different ml ops and devops is like only one thing that ml models or ml you know ml algorithms they need retraining of that model and when i tell it as retraining of the model what do you mean by retraining of the model like in ml model what happens is like the data is not same throughout the life span but in devops you create once the software you create once the application it will be same and it throughout your life span there must be an updates coming as per the bugs or anything else or as per the feature the update will happen and since it is a ci cd so the continuous you know updates happen but in ml ops the training part is been done again and again the retraining of the model is been done why just because the data that is been gathered to train the model must be different in each and every year the behavior of the people must be different as per the year coming again and again the data is also differing there is a difference in the data that's why the model has to be built up and you must be knowing this the more amount of data that is been given into a tray uh, into a ml algorithm the result is much more better so that is the reason you have to retrain again and again so that it will get more and more amount of data and when there is a much more amount of data then the output will be much better so now why this concept erupted as a different thing okay this concept erupted just because there is a additional retraining of the model is required and second thing is the employees or data scientists those are working for gathering information and making this ml models they might not be knowing everything about operation 
okay so it it becomes really tough for them to work as an in ml model year by year taking all the data and retraining it because definitely ml models degrade as per the year it's very harsh for them you know to learn both of the things and concentrating in both of the aspects so that is the reason there is difference in the devops and ml ops i'll tell you some of the examples of uh, ml of applications uh, like kubeflow there is one there is one data robot you can just check this out in uh, google or any uh, youtube also you might be finding some of the dedicated videos on this particular uh, applications or uh, platforms and there is another thing as ml flow so there are like different kind of books also published on this like how can you inculcate this particular culture in your system in your companies like you can manage both the ml as well as ops part of it so that your productivity will be seamless and your delivery will be also seamless and it will be out par so that is it guys thank you so much for watching this particular video so in the next episode will be coming new interesting topics so please do subscribe to the channel because this is one mode in which i get encouraged please subscribe and like to the channel meet you in the next episode